find the critical numbers of the function f of x. To start this problem, first thing we gotta do is we gotta evaluate our function and we gotta realize that this function, you know, we could take the derivative of it. So we go f prime of x and from here we get 3x squared plus 18x minus 21. From here what we wanna do is we wanna figure out if we can simplify this at all. So what I like to do is I'm gonna pull out a three and we're left with x squared plus 6x minus 7. And from here, we're going to try to simplify this even more. So let's make this x minus 1 and x plus 7. And now we're just going to set our x values equal to 0. Uh, this 3 is pretty much canceled out. It doesn't have an x value accompanying it. So we get x equals 1 and x equals negative 7 and these are our two x values for the function, our two critical points, critical numbers I should say. We could do another example, uh, this one being f of x is equal to 6x cubed minus 9x squared minus 36x and we're going to do this one just like the other example. First thing we do is we take the derivative so we get f prime of x is equal to 18x squared minus 18x minus 36. And from here we're going to simplify it once again. The one factor that's a like term within all these is 18, so we pull out 18. We get x squared minus x minus 2. And simplifying it even more, we get x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 2. Once again, this 18 cancels out. It doesn't have an x value accompanying it, so it's not going to be a critical point. And we get x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2. This should be a negative 1 here. And that's our answer for that example. Pretty much every one of these problems is very similar in the way that you set it up and do it. So, in recapping, we start with our f of x value and we just take the derivative of it and by simplifying a couple steps we end up just getting our x values and those are the critical points.